Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Lady T's Things That Bling, Creating and Crafting with Lupus. Today we'll be turning a boring coffee cup from drab to fab. And here are some of the items that you will need. You'll need a computer, also need a Cricut or Silhouette or some type of cutting machine, a cutting mat and some vinyl, transfer tape, a blank coffee cup. You'll also need some gem tack or some tacky glue. Then you'll need some gems of your choosing. You'll also need paper towels, alcohol, scissors, and a vinyl tool. And last but not least, you will need a gem picking tool of your choice. You ready? I am. So let's go. So first thing that I did was go to my computer and I picked one of the pictures that I wanted to use for the cup for today. If you can see it, it's a lady with a small afro and some fashionable sunglasses. Next, I put the picture into my Cricut design space so that I can get it prepared and ready to cut out. Next, I've already prepared my cutting board and my vinyl to place it to my Cricut machine so that it can cut out the items that I have on the screen. I'll spare you having to watch that boring part. Now that the Cricut has successfully cut out my items, I removed my cutting board from the machine and now I am going to cut my items out and I'm going to weed them. What I just showed you is a weeding tool that I got from Cricut. So now I'm cutting out the two items that the Cricut printed out for me. And I usually print two items because sometimes I mess up with one item and I usually try to do two so just in case I mess up. So now you see me weeding the items on the board and I just weeded one because I was really trying to you know, make sure I did it right the first time. And you see me weeding there. and. You know, when you have lupus, sometimes it can get a little tedious when you're doing intricate uh, weeding. Even though I'm using my tool right there, there was a point in the video where I had to actually use my fingers to try to uh, get the air back on the lady's head. <laughs> so I believe this is the part right here where I was trying to readjust her ear because it came off. And, um, you know, you have to be very careful with uh, items that have small parts on them. So the ear is an intricate part, and I had a lot of trouble trying to do it because I don't know if you can notice, but my fingers are swollen due to the lupus. And um, I was really trying to bring you guys a good video, and I was struggling. I was struggling. I was struggling, but it's okay. We finally got through that part of dealing with the ear. So now we're going to move on and... I'm still weeding a little bit right there because I left off a piece a piece of her uh, earring came off uh, it didn't stick when I transferred it to honey let me tell you it's more than a notion trying to do stuff when you, your hands hurt and you're trying to make things look right um, but I decided to try it anyway as you can see the cups on the shelf over there um, are done some of them still need to be done but this is what I do a lot during the day and now I'm trying to take the image and put the transfer paper on it but the ear came apart again so now I'm trying to readjust her ear again and it's taking a little time because my hands are sore and I get cramps in my hands a lot but there she is okay now there's the transfer tape and I got that off of Amazon and I like it because it's clear Sometimes you get transfer tape and you can't really see what you're doing, but I can see what I'm doing on there. So I made sure that I rubbed the image onto the transfer tape um, really hard so every piece of it could come off when I'm trying to transfer it. Now before I did that, I took my paper towel and alcohol and cleaned the cup because you want to make sure there's no grease on it or any other items on the cup. You want to make sure that your vinyl sticks to the cup and has a long time sticking on it. This is 651 vinyl and I got it from Amazon and I really like it. It hasn't I haven't had any problems with um, using
using it on any of my cups and um, I would recommend the 651 vinyl if you just go on Amazon and look it up you'll find it and if you prefer something else you'll see other ones there too so now I'm just putting it on there with the transfer tape and I'm going to scrape it on there to make sure I don't lose any more pieces especially that ear because I don't want to deal with that ear again so all right we did that and now we're pulling it off here. I'm doing it a little bit slow due to the video sped up, but I was doing it a little slowly so to make sure that all of the pieces are there. And while all the ear is on there, everything is intact. Now, I didn't record this with me printing out another pair of lips because that was a process of doing that and I didn't want the video to be too long, but I did um, print out some lips for her so that she wouldn't have black lips but that she could appear to have on lipstick and that's why I did the red part right there sometimes you just want to be a little bit different you know and I'm struggling right there trying to get the lips on and um, I had to do it again <laughs> to try to get the lips on because again my fingers don't always cooperate with me and I'm sure if you had swollen fingers and you had any type of um, autoimmune disease you'd understand look at those lips aren't they cute they are so cute. All right, so now I'm going to show you what I do with the lady. I haven't given her a name yet, but I'm about to put some beads on her, and I was sorting the beads out. And now I'm using the Gem Tag, and I like Gem Tag because it dries quickly, but it still gives you enough time to get your beads on. So here I'm selecting one of the smaller versions of the beads because there's three sizes. And those beads that I chose and I like them because I can put the randomness of the beads on there instead of every bead having to be the same size I can just make them different sizes and you'll see um, as we go on that I use small I use medium and I use large gems on here but the way I'm putting it on here you wouldn't have to do it the same exact way that I'm doing it you can do it your own way your own style right so I'm using some more gem tack because I don't like to put it on too much um, across the head because like I said it does dry quickly and um, you don't want to have to go back over it and it'll be lumpy you know I've had that happen to me before that's why I know don't put the gem tack all over the item because it's just going to mess up later on and you find yourself trying to scrape it off um, and let me say something about that um, item that's on the cup I did get that from Etsy. I purchased it from Etsy. Um, and if you go on Etsy, they have a whole lot of images that you can use uh, to make your mug with. So you don't necessarily have to use that one. But Etsy is really good to go on and get um, images for uh, doing items like this. Or even if you want to put it on a shirt. And I think eventually I am going to try to put her on a shirt. I just haven't done it yet. But I, I like the images at Etsy. And they're not really that expensive. There's some that start at 99 cents. Um, and if you catch them on a the sale, you might be able to get a good bargain. So again, you see me adding some more gem tack. Um, and again, it, it goes on white, but it dries clear. It goes on white, but it dries clear. And let me just say this before I forget. Don't immerse your cups in water. Don't put them in the microwave, because if you do, you're going to cause the beads to come off and these really shouldn't be used in the microwave anyway because that's a whole different material and you wouldn't want to have any kind of you know sickness happening to you by putting these in the microwave so please don't put them in the microwave and please don't immerse them in water so what you can do is just take a, a dishcloth and you know wipe the insides of it out real good and rinse it out real good um, holding your image towards you instead of the bottom that way you can see what you're doing but it if you don't drink a lot of coffee in it or tea in it you probably don't have to worry about it staining too much and you can just take your wash rag and a little bit of soap and water and wash it out like that but it doesn't take a lot to clean them so see you here I am again I'm almost at the end and I'm putting some more gem tech this time I'm using um, trying to cover the whole the rest of the image right there because this really is a fast process it doesn't really take long and you see me using the um the gem stick that's a wax end right there that i'm using and i really love these things because it helps me a lot 
when I'm trying to pick up those. I can't pick them up. If you would have seen me struggling trying to pick out the gems um, earlier, then you would understand why this tool is so important for me. And I do need to order some more. And again, you can get this on Amazon. You just look up gen, uh, gem tool, gem, J-E-M, G-E-M, I'm sorry, gem tool. And um, all sorts of them will come up. I haven't tried the pencil one yet. I don't really like it. Um, but I like these because they're very efficient. So there you go. I finished her hair. And now I'm showing you another set of gems that I have chosen to use on this item. And you'll see me trying to pick out some gems on this one as well. And y'all, when your hands are swollen and your hands hurt, it doesn't bode well. Uh, but we, we still struggle through it. And here, here is um, the eyeglasses part. You know, the rim that goes over your ear. So I'm about to decorate that with some of the gems. And then I'm going to go around the eyeglasses and decorate it like that. I've seen some people decorate the whole uh, lens of the, uh, the eyeglasses. But I like to do it the way I do it. Everybody has their preferences. And nobody is wrong. So whatever it is that you like to do, then that's what you should do. When you're creating uh, your mug... You know, these are really nice gifts to give too, like when Christmas comes or for somebody's birthday or just something to say thank you or hey, I was thinking about you. You know, this would be a really good item to give to someone if they like a lot of bling and I'm a bling, bling, bling girl. As you can tell by my channel title, Lady T's Things That Bling. And also while I'm continuing to put the gems on, I just wanted to tell you that all of the things that you see in the background are some things that I'm working on. You see my radio equipment there because I was doing radio um, consistently, but until um, up until when I got my aneurysm in my head, I stopped doing broadcasting. But I do intend to resume uh, doing my gospel radio broadcast because I love to do that too. I look at her. Look at her. She's so fly. She's so fly. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta put a dot right there for her earring. And we're almost done. I tell you, look, if you look at the um, the item, if you look at the lady's head on the cup, you can see that the gem tag is already drying clear. Uh, you, as much as I put on there, you should be able to see the gem tag, but you really don't because it's already drying clear. It doesn't take long to dry, and it's already on there. Look, got a glasses, got an earring. Got one more thing to do, and that's her neck collar. So we're going to do that real quickly. And then we're going to be done. And if you like this, and if you'd like to see some more of these, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And um, let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video. Remember, be gentle because I am new at this. And I haven't done too many of these. And I'm still learning. So that as I go along, the videos will be better. But the more I do, I know the more, you know, I'll become better. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Now, look at that. Isn't that nice? That is really, really nice. And this one is the first one I did with all of, mostly the same size beads. And those are actually the same gems I used. But this time I used more black beads instead of the um, colored beads. So, again, this is Lady T. And you've been watching Lady T's Things That Bling. Please come back and join me again as we craft some more. All right, bye.